The Riley and Kimmy show is going back in time and we found somebody way back in time, back to the Victorian age. Person who, I don't know if he ever visits the 21st century. I'm not, not sure at all. It's uh, Professor Cornelius Copperpot. Hello, sir. Greetings. I, I hope I got the last name right. Yes, it's Copperpot with two T's. Cornwall Cornelius oh, Copperpot. there we go, the whole name. Excuse me, I didn't mean to, you know, that's you know, quite I, all right. I didn't mean to insult That's quite you, there, right. you know. Don't want to, don't want to, you know, diminish anything here. Most people just refer to me as Professor or Professor Copperpot. Some just call me Copperpot. Some call me crazy. Do they ever call you that? <laughs> <laughs> they, they, they call me like, I've been known to be known as the crazy mad scientist from time to time. I, sp I prefer eccentric. How about you? I like that. Well, let's go with that. Yeah, we eccentric. are. Th we're the eccentric brothers here. <laughs> we're having a fun day in Mount Dora, Florida, and you've flown in for real. Yes, yes, I just arrived. It was a rather rough landing. I kind of almost took my knee out there today. Ooh. It was windy the day before. Yes, it was. Bad day for flying. Very bad. And just out of curiosity, Professor, how far can you go on a, well, on the winds? Well, it depends on the drafts. You know, if you get a good upwind, then uh, I, can, I can stay airborne for up for a couple hours. Wow. It works more on a, on, a, on a theory of gliding. Then uh, oh. you know, I mean, I, the wings do flap, so I can I can keep myself airborne for for uh, for several hours. Now I'm just guessing here, Mr. Da Vinci was a influence on you a little bit. Oh yes, I have much respect for for Leonardo. So no. most most of his work has been has been my inspiration. Now he being a Renaissance man, can I say you're a Renaissance man as well? Um, I. You could say that, yes. I, I dabble in, in, in many mediums. Ooh, now, what is some other creation maybe that we don't know yet, that you can just leak out a little bit, something that might be out there that you're working on? I mean, there's this crazy guy by the name of Tesla has all kinds of things that are on the horizon. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Tesla uh, is, uh, is, a, is an amazing inventor. So he, he uh, in fact, he was my inspiration for the, uh, for the power supply for my uh, backpack, this, uh, this newfangled power of electricity Whoa. seems to be all the rage and uh, he has done amazing things with it now who's your favorite inventor outside of yourself well that's I would say that's a toss-up between Leonardo and Tesla the two of them really have uh, have given the world some amazing things mine is mr. Peabody mr. Peabody yes mr. <laughs> Peabody and his boy Sherman oh yes the little time traveling dog he came by my shop once yeah, that's my favorite. I was wondering if you ever got a chance to go in the Wayback Machine, maybe go a little bit forward in the Wayback Machine. Well, actually, uh, it's it's how I arrived here today. Ooh, so my little dog friend's roaming around. So, yes, well, he pops in from time to time. Actually, he said he'd come back around, oh, somewhere around 4 o'clock to pick me up. Very, very nice. Is his boy Sherman with him today? So, no, Sherman's in school. Oh, okay. It, it's tough being the boy. So yes, well, you know, when you when you have a boy for a pet. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> Anything in the uh, well, I hate to use the word future because your future is my past, kind of. Anything for your future in store? Any appearances for the professor? Well, right now, um, here at Renegers is the only thing that I have planned at present. Um, there is an event called Conjure that's coming up that I may make an appearance uh, there. Now, I hope you do. I hope you hitch a ride in the Wayback Machine or possibly a TARDIS. Maybe you know one of the doctors, you know, I, I know that's possible. Or maybe a transporter problem, a glitch on the Enterprise will happen or something that gets you to Conjure. We will be a Conjure. That is March 5th and 6th in Orlando, Florida. ConjureFlorida.com, by the way, the place to go. A lot of guests there. I think they will find you fascinating. Well, I visited with them uh, last year. Um, took first prize in their costume contest. It was you, because somebody asked me that last night, by the way. They said, they asked me if the professor was the winner of that. And I said, you know, I'm not certain. Yes, yes, I, I, I was able to take first place in, uh, in that contest. Uh, it was very exciting. Uh, they even asked me to come back and do an endorsement for it. So they are going to grant me free passage into, uh, into the event this year. Well, I will leave you with this, a little request. If you go, and I think you are going to conjure, will you stop by the Riley and Kimmy show table and become part of an episode? Oh, absolutely. I love meeting with you two. Well, thank you. Thank you, Professor. We look forward to seeing you at Conjure. And we have more information about Conjure, conjureflorida.com, right on our website at rileyandkimmy.com.